Oh, there we go, Miffy. Good as new. Oh, thank you, Boris. Happy to help. Now, I'll just give the handlebars a quick polish. That's OK, Boris. You don't need to. Now, where did I put my polishing cloth? Hello, Barbara. Hello, Miffy. Hello, Boris. Huh? Oh, hello, Barbara. You haven't forgotten anything, have you, Boris? How did you know? Oh, I've completely forgotten where I put my polishing cloth. No, I mean you've forgotten what day it is. Um, Thursday? Boris, it's Friday. Friday? It's my birthday. Happy birthday, Barbara. Thank you, Miffy. We were supposed to be going on a picnic together, remember? Oh, I totally forgot. <laughs> well, I started fixing Miffy's bike and I got carried away. You always do once you start working on something. Hmm. Oh, dear. Um, maybe you can make it up to her with a nice present. Ooh, that is a good idea. And I know just the thing. Follow me. Come on, Boris. This way. Where am I going to find a present for Barbara here? There, of course. Flowers? Uh, I'm not sure that's a good idea. Flowers always make me... But Barbara loves flowers. Mm. Mm. I love flowers. Pretty flowers. I can look at them for hours. I love flowers. Red and blue. Barbara will love them too. You really shouldn't have picked them. Mummy won't mind if it's for Barbara's birthday. Smell how nice they are. <laughs> oh. oh, sorry, Miffy. That's why I didn't think it was a good idea. Flowers always make me sneeze. Oh, really? Even just one? <laughs> Even just one. <laughs> but you're not sneezing now. <gasps> I can look at flowers. It's only when I smell them that I sneeze. <sighs> what a shame. Barbara loves flowers. We'll have to think of something else. <laughs> if only we could find flowers that didn't smell. Or a way to stop you smelling them. Ready, Boris? Ready! Hold your breath. <gasps> That's it, Boris. Keep going. Holding your breath means you can't smell the flowers. <laughs> Sorry, Boris. It was worth a try. But I'll never hold my breath long enough to give Barbara a bouquet. Never mind, Boris. We'll think of something. The only thing I'm good at is making things in my workshop. Of course! We can make Barbara a present. And I know just what. I'm a heel, a polished hair. You need it building, I'm your bear. I love to make things all day long. And sometimes Boris gets it wrong. Making things is so much fun. Come on, Boris, get it done. Wow! I hope Barbara likes it. Let's go and find out. Hello, Miffy. Hello, Boris. <clears throat> uh, Boris has got something to say to you. Uh, I'm so sorry I forgot your birthday, Barbara. But he only forgot because he was mending my bike. Boris is the best. And, to make it up to you, I made you a present. Oh, Boris! How beautiful! Happy birthday, Barbara. I love flowers, and this is the first time you've given me any. 
Oh, I wanted to, but flowers make me sneeze. <laughs> then why aren't you sneezing now? <laughs> because they're made of wood. I carved them myself. This is the best thing you've ever made. Thank you, Boris. And because they're made of wood, they won't ever wilt. So you can keep them forever. Oh, Boris, come here, you lovely bear. I promise I'll never forget anything ever again. <laughs> now, how about that picnic? Wait, you have forgotten something. Huh? My bike. Can I have it back, please? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Boris. You're the best. Ha. Bye. Bye, Miffy. Bye. Miffy's right. You are the best. <laughs> Look, Daddy. I can see the river. Oh, well spotted, Miffy. <laughs> Oh, lucky I've got such a keen-eyed co-pilot. We must be nearly at Grandma and Grandpa's house. That's right. See if you can spot it before... Oh, there it is. Oh, <laughs> goodness me. You do have good eyes. Oh, hmm. I can't wait to get there. Grandpa said he's got a big surprise for us. Oh, a surprise, a surprise. Grandma. Hello, Miffy love. And hello, dear. Grandpa's waiting for you both. Apparently, he's got a big surprise for you. Hi, Grandpa. What's our surprise? Miffy, now let your daddy and I have a proper catch-up first, and then I'll show you. <gasps> can I go exploring? Of course you can. <laughs> Just like you at that age. Now, Come and get a glass of lemonade. Huh. What's this? Mm. Busy exploring, Miffy. I love exploring Grandpa's house. I wonder what's in here. Ooh! That's beautiful, isn't it? Be careful, though. It looks very old. Sail, sail, sail. I'm sailing on the sea. Sail, sail, sail. Will you come and sail with me? Sail, 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 over the wobbly waves. Sail, 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 with the dolphins and the whales. There. I wonder what else is in here. Oh, what a funny coat. It looks like it would fit a little bunny. I wonder who it belongs to. Oh, there must be another little bunny somewhere. Grandma, Grandpa. Where's the other little bunny, Grandma? I want to play with them. What other little bunny, Miffy? The one with the nice toy bike. <laughs> oh, that little bunny. As a matter of fact, he's with your Grandpa right now. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> Nothing but lemonade for a whole month. And uh, yes, then... so uh, about this surprise. Well... Little bunny, where are you? Who are you looking for, Miffy? I'm looking for the little bunny. Well, there's no little bunnies in here, apart from you. No, not me. The little bunny who has a toy boat in the spare room. Oh, oh that little bunny. Now, um, uh, oh, here he is. He's wearing the jacket. <laughs> well, well, was I ever that small? <gasps> You're the little bunny. That's right. Or at least, I used to be. He used to play with that boat all the time. And it's still here. <gasps> I'd forgotten all about it. Oh, come on, Miffy. Show me. <laughs> oh. Oh, I have grown. <laughs> oh, and look at this. <laughs> and this. Oh, they kept all my old toys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the boat is the best. Oh, yes. I had so many adventures with this boat. <laughs> sail, <laughs> sail, sail, sail my little boat. Sail, 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 on the water you will float. Sail, 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 across the wobbly sea. Sail, 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 it's a sailor's life for me. <laughs> Here, 
Here, Miffy. You have it. <gasps> really? Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome. Grandpa gave it to me. It used to be his boat when he was a little bunny. That must have been a long, long time ago. <laughs> Not that long ago, thank you very much. I say, why don't we all go down to the river for a spot of sailing? <gasps> yes, please! Oh, yes! Sail, 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 I'm sailing on the sea. Oh, why don't you go? What was that, Grandpa? <laughs> all part of the surprise. <laughs> now, come along. It was your boat first, so you should have first go. Oh, thank you, Miffy. Sail, 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 sailing down the stream. Sail, 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 that's every sailor's dream. Sail, 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 sail down to the sea. Sail, 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 will you come and sail with me? your boat, Grandpa. Oh, thank you, Miffy. But now, are you ready for your surprise? Look, Daddy, look! Ahoy there, Miffy! Surprise! <laughs> Ahoy there, Grandpa! I like your new boat even more than your old boat. Well, I always said I'd have a real boat when I grew up. <laughs> and now you do. It's brilliant. Can we have a go? What are you waiting for? Let's set sail. Sail, 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 sailing sail down, down the stream. Sail, 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 will you come and sail with me? <laughs> yellow and blue and red, and 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 yellow and blue and red. Oh, I think you've gone all the way round now, Miffy. <laughs> I love my new umbrella. I can't wait to show my friends. <gasps> Oops. Oh, Miffy, let's put Aunt Alice back on the wall. Sorry, Mummy. I know you love your new umbrella, Miffy, but you can't hold it all the time. Yes, I can. I'm going to show my friends now. Bye, Mummy. Bye, Miffy. Have fun. <laughs> no, Snuffy, you can't play with my umbrella. It's not a stick. <laughs> oh, all right, Snuffy. Here you go. Fit. Umbrella, such bright colours. But I don't think it's going to rain today. I know. I've got lots and lots of apples to pick. I'll help you, Boris. I can be your apple carrier. Oh, thank you, Miffy. And I'll be the apple picker. Thank you. There. <sighs> oh, sorry, Boris. I can only carry one at a time. Oh. Why don't you put that umbrella down, Miffy? It'll make it so much easier. No, thank you. I want to keep my umbrella with me. Yeah. Oh, I need more arms. This is a job for an octopus, not a bear. Here, take this one. Thank Whoa! Oh. Oh. I'll hold a ladder for you. Thank you. Oh, I shouldn't really try to climb down holding so many Whoa. Uh, apples. My umbrella. 
Stella caught them. <sighs> well done, Miffy. You know you can fold your umbrella up. No, I like it like this, Boris. I want to see all the colours. All right. <laughs> they are pretty. Bye, Boris. Bye, Miffy. And thanks for being my apple carrier. Ooh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi, Hi Miffy. Miffy. Look at my new umbrella. You don't need an umbrella, Miffy. It's a sunny day. We're playing balancing. This is tricky. You try, Miffy. It's fun. OK. You should put your umbrella down first. It will get in the way. No, it won't. Wow. Wow, you're really good at balancing. Even with an umbrella. Actually, it helped me. What should we play next? How about catch? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah. Oh, got it! You need both hands to catch a ball. Your umbrella's in the way. Put it down, Miffy. No, I want to keep holding it. You'll have to play without me. Oh, OK. Oh, come on, Grunty. My guy. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Miffy? Everyone thinks my umbrella just gets in the way. Maybe I should have left it at home. It isn't any use on a sunny day. No use? Are you sure, Miffy? Didn't you use it to catch the apples that Boris dropped? Uh, yes. And to get Snuffy's stick down when it was stuck? Yes. And didn't it help you balance on the log just now? Yes. So it has been useful. Just not in the way you might expect. <laughs> You're right. I think I will keep it after all. Oh, it's raining. Look. Well, well. Using an umbrella to keep dry in the rain. What a clever invention. Missy, we need your umbrella. Granty. Melanie. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Miffy. Off to school? Yes, I can't wait. What's your favourite thing about being at school? Drawing pictures? Mm -mm. Playing games? Mm -mm. Singing songs? No, it's seeing all my friends. There they are. Can't catch me. <laughs> Run, Grunty. <laughs> You're it now. Whoa, you can't get me. <laughs> oh, you got me. Hello, everybody. Hello, Miffy. Hi, Miffy. You're it. Oh. oh. Come along now. You and Indy Lay. In you come, everybody. You're it now, Grunty. <laughs> Thank you, Grunty. Settle down. Sorry, miss. It's time to start. Oh! What was that noise? What, what noise? noise? I didn't hear anything. Today I want to teach you about the noises that different animals make. The first one is a cow. Who can tell me what noise a cow makes? Oh! <coughs> No calling out, Miffy. Put your hand up if you know the but, answer. But I didn't. And cows don't squeak. They... Ooh. Moo, Miss. That's right, Dan. Cows go moo. Moo, moo, moo. Moo, moo, moo. moo. Calm moo. down, Grunty. Now, what noise does a horse make? <gasps> No, Miffy, horses don't squeak. They... Uh, Melanie. 
me! That's right, Melanie. Last one. So, who can tell me what noise a sheep makes? No, Miffy. Sheep do not go squeak. And please put your hand up rather than calling out. But I am putting my hand up, Miss. Look! <laughs> <laughs> Miffy's got a squeaky arm. Thank you, Grunty. Well, this is a mystery. Hmm. I've never heard of a squeaky arm before. Try standing up, Miffy. Now put your hand up. <gasps> mm hmm. Hmm. She didn't squeak. It's gone. Mm. Thank you, Dan. It's back again. I guess that might happen. But I didn't lift my arm. It's not your arm that's squeaky. It's your chair. Ooh. My chair? Let me try. <laughs> I thought so. Definitely the chair that's squeaky. So I see. And so I hear. Well done, Dan. Dan. Well done. Well done. Thank you, Dan. Oh. Well, now we know what's making the squeak, but it's still very distracting. You'll just have to try and keep still, Miffy. Sorry, Miss. I'll be quiet as a mouse. A mouse? That gives me an idea. Since we can't stop the noise happening, we can make it part of the lesson. What do you mean, miss? I'm going to teach you a funny song to help you remember which animal makes what noise. Yay! <laughs> Dan, you can be the cow. Melanie, a horse. Now, who can be the sheep? Ooh, ooh. Ba, ba, ba. Very good, Grunty. But wait till I point to you. Is everybody ready? Miss, you didn't give Miffy an animal. Wait and see, Melanie. Now, when I point at you, make the noise of your animal. Down in the farmyard, what did I see? A cow went moo, moo, moo at me. Down in the farmyard, what did I see? A horse went nay, nay, nay at me. Down in the farmyard, what did I see? A sheep went ba, ba, ba at me. Down in the farmyard, what did I see? A mouse went <coughs> at me. <laughs> I'm the mouse. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well yeah. done, Miffy. You're the best mouse I've ever heard. Let's <laughs> sing it again. Can I be the mouse? No, me, me, me. <coughs> it was Dan who found the squeak, so I think Dan should be the mouse. Thanks, Miffy. Oh, yes. What a good idea, Miffy. Oh, I wanted to be the squeaky mouse in the squeaky chair. Everyone can have a turn in the squeaky chair. Now form a line. Down in the farmyard, what did I see? A mouse went at me. Down in the farmyard, what did I see? A mouse went at me. Down in the farmyard, what did I see? A mouse went at me. Down in the farmyard, what did I see? A mouse went squeak, squeak, squeak at me. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Woohoo! You're in a hurry this morning, Miffy. Yes, Poppy's taking me bowling with Grunty and Melanie. That sounds like fun. <laughs> Do you like bowling? I don't know. I've never done it before. Melanie, Grunty. Hello, Hello Miffy. Miffy. Ready to go bowling? I am. I've been practising all week. How? You haven't got a bowling ball. Easy, watch. First, you pick up the ball like this. Then pull back like this. Then let go like this. Ooh. <laughs> Are you sure that's how you're supposed to do it, Grunty? I'll be better with a real ball. Oh, hello, girls. Hello, hello Poppy. Poppy. Well, now we're all here. Let's go bowling. Yay! Yay! I can't Come wait. On. Wait. We don't want to miss the bus. We're on 
the bus, driving fast, watching things go whizzing past. There goes a tree! There goes a cow! There goes Nuffy Pow Wow Wow! <laughs> We're on the bus, zooming along, watching the world and singing a song. Look, a flower! Look, a horse! Why are we stopping? We're, We're there, there, of course! course. We're here! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> look, look! <laughs> you need to put these special shoes on to go bowling. Oh, shoes? Ooh. How funny. I think I'll practice again with these shoes on. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Maybe we should save your moves for the bowling lane, Grunty. This way. Is this where we do the bowling? That's right. You take a ball from here and try and knock down those pens. They're a long way away. Don't worry, Melanie. I'll show you how to do it. And I'll have a nice sit down over here. A shout if you need me. Why don't you go first, Miffy? OK. Ooh. <laughs> it's heavy. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Well done, Miffy. Not bad. Now it's my turn. Move your arm a bit more, Melanie. I can do it on my own, thank you, Grunty. Ha! <sighs> Oh, bad luck, Melanie. If Grunty hadn't distracted me, I'd have knocked them all over. Sorry, Melanie. I was only trying to help. Your turn, Grunty. Mm-hmm. Huh? Huh. Let's get ready to pick her up again. <laughs> wow! Well done, Grunty. Strike! Strike? Strike? That's what you shout if you knock everything down at once. <laughs> Strike! I think you were lucky that time. Can you show me how you did that, Grunty? First, you pick up the ball, then pull back like this. Then let go, like this. Right, OK. Ah. Oh. <gasps> Much better! Thanks, Grunty. Hmm. Shall I show you too, Melanie? No, thank you, Grunty. I can do it myself. Ugh. Hmm. Never mind, Melanie. But did somebody lose this? It's not fair. It must be broken. No, you just need to... I think it might be time for some lunch. This way, girls. Yes, lunch! your carrot burger, Melanie. Mm. I can't believe Grunty's better than me. She's so clumsy. Oh. I think it's nice. She's found something she's good at. But does she have to show off by telling us all how to do it? It's stuck. Uh. Here, you don't unscrew it. You flip it. Like this. <gasps> Thanks, Melanie. That's really helpful. You see, you showed Grunty how to do it. You helped her. Oh, yes. I was helping her. Not being a show-off. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Strike. Well done, Miffy. All thanks to you, Grunty. Well done, Miffy. Can you show me how to bowl like you, please, Grunty? Sure. You just pull your arm back and then let go. Thanks, Grunty. <sighs> yes! Strike! See? That was really good. My turn. Stand back. <laughs> oh, Grunty. <laughs> <laughs> this is great, isn't it? Yes, it is. 
I love the seaside. I can't wait to build the sandcastle. I can't wait either. What a beautiful day to spend at the seaside. The sand is all hot and sandy. Whee! Oh! <laughs> oh. Why don't you girls go and play? I'll stay here and sort this out. We can build a sandcastle! A sandcastle! I love sandcastles. When I was little, I made one as tall as me, all by myself. Come on, Miffy! This is a good spot for building a castle. I'm going to build mine over here. And I'll call it Castle Miffy. Why don't you and Melody build a sandcastle together? No, I want to make mine all by myself, like Mummy did when she was little. <sighs> tap, tap. Hmm, that's not very castly. <laughs> Falling down. Building sandcastles is hard. <laughs> Building sandcastles is fun! Not when they keep falling down. I'm giving mine some extra towers. That's nice, Melanie. Hmm, I haven't even made one tower. Maybe you could ask Melanie to help. But then I wouldn't be doing it all by myself. <sighs> mm. There! Castle Miffy! Very nice. Are you going to show Mummy and Melanie? Uh, mm. hmm. Hmm. I don't think so. Melanie's castle is so much better than mine. Where are you going now, Miffy? I don't want to build sandcastles anymore. It's too hard. I'm going to collect shells instead. Where are you going, Miffy? Shell collecting. OK. Stay where I can see you. can see when I'm beside the sea those shells in the pool they're sparkly like a jewel oh yes wow Ooh. Ooh. hello mr. crab I didn't know there was anybody home <laughs> Castles. I tried, but it kept falling down. I'll never make one as good as Melanie's castle. Would you like me to help you? No thanks, Mummy. It's not the same if we don't build it all by yourself. Oh, Miffy, I'm sorry. I didn't mean you had to build your castle without any help. What have you got there, Miffy? Shells. What a good idea. Huh? You can use them to decorate your castle. I hadn't thought of that. Would you like some for yours? Yes, please. Wow. Why doesn't yours fall down? I used wet sand so it sticks. And your shells will make it look even better. should call it 
Melanie and Miffy's castle. Hmm. Melanie, can we build another castle together? I know how to do it now. Yes, let's collect shells for it. Building together is more fun than by yourself. Yes. We'll make an even better castle using shells to make it sparkle. <laughs> That's not how I left it. It was all fully downy. Oh, hello, Miffy. You'd made such a good start, I thought I'd carry on where you left off. I hope you don't mind. I don't mind. Let's all stick shells in it together. Yay! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Look! Ooh. Miss Crab's found a new home. Crab Castle. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you today, Miffy? I'm at Grandma and Grandpa's house. Is Grandma having a snooze? Yes. She wants me to have a snooze too. But I'm not tired. Oh, I can't get snoozy. Grandma. Grandma, are you still asleep? Are you <gasps> awake? Yes, Miffy, I'm awake. Me too. I can't sleep. You don't have to sleep. You can just rest. But I can't get comfy and the bees are too buzzy. Then why don't you try watching the clouds, Miffy? Watching the clouds? Why? It's my favourite game. It's very relaxing. It might help you rest. A game? I love games. How do we play? Well, you just lie back, look at the sky and try to spot shapes in the clouds. <gasps> There's a cloud. That one's shaped like a cloud. There's another one. That looks just like a cloud too. Are you sure this is your favourite game, Grandma? <laughs> you just need patience, Miffy. You'll see. Ah, there. Now, does that look like anything? It looks like a flower. Look, Grandma, a flower. Exactly. Now you're getting it. What else can we see? There. Can you spot something swimming in the clouds, Miffy? Yes, I can. Swim, little fish. <laughs> oh, I can see a hat. And I can see a bell. Oh, yes. It's a bell-shaped hat. Oh, it's a hat-shaped bell. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, look. There's Snuffy. Snuffy? Really? Where? No, up there. In the sky. Oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> so it is. Hello, Snuffy. Oh, she's floating away. Bye-bye, Snuffy. I think she wants me to follow her. Really? Then she must want me to follow her too. Oh, oh, but not too fast, Snuffy. Grandma's not as quick as she used to be. Hurry, Grandma, before Snuffy Cloud gets away. <sighs> this is my best hurrying. <sighs> Oh, stepping stones. Maybe this is what Snuffy Cloud wanted us to find. <laughs> yes, <laughs> let's play here for a while. <laughs> no, Snuffy Cloud is still going. Come on, Grandma, you have to keep following. <laughs> okay, Miffy, lead the way. <laughs> Come on. Ooh. Sit, Snuffy Cloud. Sit, stay. Oh, she's so high up she can't hear me. Ah. Hurry, Grandma! Snuffy's getting away! Ah. Oh. Ah. Come on! Miffy? Yes? Snuffy Cloud's very fast, isn't she? Yes, and I want to catch up with her. But Grandma's not very fast, is she? No, and I don't want to leave Grandma behind. So, what are you going to do, Miffy? Uh, um, I'm going to wait for Grandma. I 
I'm sorry Snuffy Cloud floated away, Miffy. I told Snuffy to sit and wait, but she didn't. But you did, Miffy. Thank you. Now we can look for some clouds together. <laughs> Are you tired, Grandma? Well, I do love cloud watching, but I think cloud chasing is a little bit too energetic for me these days. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Grandma. Snuffy Cloud was a very speedy cloud. <laughs> Look! Miffy! A sheep! No! A whole flock of sheep! <gasps> and there's Snuffy! No! It's definitely a sheep. No, I mean, it really is Snuffy. The real Snuffy. <laughs> Snuffy! <gasps> That's why Snuffy Cloud wanted us to follow her. So she could take us to real Snuffy. Oh, of course. What a clever cloud. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, Snuffy. Sorry, Grandma. <gasps> Will you look at that? A cupcake cloud is heading straight for my house. A cupcake cloud. That must mean it's tea time. <laughs> Let's follow it. Uh-oh, Grandma. I think that's what Snuffy wanted to tell us. A rain cloud. Let's hurry home. <laughs> Grandma, wait for me. Look, Grandma. Now Snuffy's chasing us. <laughs> Come on, Miffy. Come on. <laughs> oh, oh. Where are we going, Mummy? We're off to collect Boris Bear. Hooray! Boris always makes me giggle. But, Mummy, we're going the wrong way. Boris's house is that way. That's because today we're collecting Boris from the hospital. The hospital? Yes. Poor Boris fell out of an apple tree this morning and broke his arm. Boris is broken? Oh, no! Come on, Miffy. Let's go and find out where Boris's room is. Miffy, aren't you going to visit Boris? Yes, I am. But I don't think I'm wearing the right dress. Well, you look just fine to me, Miffy. You don't have to be dressed up to visit somebody in hospital. Don't you? No. So you can go in now. OK. OK. Miffy, is there some other reason you don't want to go into the hospital? <sighs> yes. I like Boris so much, but I don't want to see him broken. Oh, Miffy. Aren't you coming in, Miffy? Yes, but I think I might have a tummy ache. Have you? Then maybe you need to see a doctor too, Miffy. Ah, here's one coming now. Hello. Hello, Doctor. We've come to visit Boris Bear. Ah, yes, Boris. I'm going to check on him now. Come this way. Miffy mm, uh... isn't sure about hospitals. That's a shame, because I really need an assistant to help me with some very important jobs. Ooh, me, me! There you are. I love helping. Oh, Miffy. <laughs> Hello, Boris. Look who I brought. Hello, Miffy. You came to visit. Boris. Hmm. You don't look broken. <laughs> oh, good. Is your arm very sore? It was when I first fell out of the tree. But we're making it all better now. Where are you going, Miffy? Mm. What are you looking for? Um, where did you put the broken bit? Well, the broken bit is inside this hard plaster. It protects the broken bone. Oh. You should have put that on before you climbed the tree, Boris. <laughs> You're much more sensible than me, Miffy. 
Making our patients comfy is the most important job of all. Can you help me? Of course. I like helping. Oh, thank you, Miffy. Would you like a grape? Yes, please. Mmm. Mmm. Here, Boris. We brought you a woodwork magazine to read while you're getting better. Oh, thank you. This one's my favourite. And <laughs> some more grapes. <laughs> hmm. Oh, Miffy, you could help Boris turn the pages. Mm -hmm. I'm already helping with the grapes. <laughs> You're an excellent helper, Miffy. I know. It's a very important job. Dr Miffy, are you ready to help me check whether Boris is well enough to go home? Mm-hmm. Dr. Miffy is ready. Dr. Miffy's here to say What is wrong with you today? If you're broken, if you're ill I'll make you better, yes I will If you're poorly, come this way Dr. Miffy's here today If you're poorly, come this way Dr. Miffy's on call today Good news, Boris. You're well enough to go home now. Oh, good. Thank you, Doctor. Mm -hmm. Sorry, doctors. No problem. Have plenty of rest and try not to bump your arm while it mends. I'll try, but I am rather clumsy. <laughs> Bye then. Next time you climb the apple tree, be more careful. That's exactly what I was about to say. Look, Barbara, Boris is mended. I helped mend him. <laughs> Are you feeling better, Boris? Much better. Thanks to all my lovely visitors and the doctors, of course. Especially Dr Miffy. Mm. Well, this should cheer you up too. A lovely big bunch of grapes. <laughs> <laughs> More grapes! <laughs> Fruit is very good for you. Oh, well said, Dr Miffy. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Yes, except when you fall out of an apple tree. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you home, shall we? Oh, do we have to? I like hospitals. Maybe you can come back here one day, when you're a real doctor. Ooh. Dr Miffy, how do you do? Uh, uh, oh, do you think they'd mind if I use that wheelchair? You don't need a wheelchair for a broken arm, Boris. It's not for me. It's for all the grapes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Boris. Oh, dear, Boris. I'll get it, Mummy. Good morning, Mr Postman. Morning, Miffy. I've got a postcard here for you. For me? Thank you. Mummy, Mummy. Look. The postman brought me a postcard. How exciting. Let's have a look at the picture on the front and see if we can guess who it's from. Hmm. Hmm. That mountain looks very high and very snowy. No clues there. Let's see what it says on the back. Oh, it's from Uncle Pilot. Uncle Pilot? <laughs> it must be one of the places he's flown to. Dear Mickey. I have been very busy exploring new countries. I've seen lots of things on my travels, but this mountain was the biggest and the coldest. <laughs> lots of love, Uncle Pilot. It was nice of Uncle Pilot to send me a postcard. Well, why don't you send him one back? You can tell him all the exciting things you get up to. But I don't get up to exciting things, not like Uncle Pilot. Yes, you do. I'll help you write one if you like. Oh, yes, please. But I haven't got a postcard. Here you are. You can buy a nice one from Barbara's shop. And then we can write it together. Thanks, Mummy. See you later, Miffy. Where are you off to, Miffy? I'm going to Barbara's shop to buy a postcard to send to Uncle Pilot. That's a nice idea. What are you going to write? I don't know. Uncle Pilot always has exciting things to write about, but I don't. <laughs> I'm sure you'll think of something. I hope so. I'm nearly at the shop. Hello, 
Barbara. Miffy, what can I do for you today? I'd like to buy an exciting postcard, please. An exciting postcard? Well, let's see what we can find. Here we are. Oh dear. What's the matter, Barbara? This is where the postcard should be, but I've run out. Oh no! Don't worry. I think I've got some in the storeroom. Will you look after the shop for me while I go and see? Me? Look after the whole shop? It won't be for long. I'm sure you'll be fine. I'll do my best. <laughs> I know you will. See you in a minute, Miffy. <laughs> yes. Hmm. To Miffy's shop. How can I help you? Hello, Melanie. <gasps> Miffy. Hello, Grancy. Oh, welcome to my shop. What are you doing behind there? I'm looking after the shop for Barbara. What can I do for you today? I like two carrots, please. This way. Mmm, <laughs> yum. Two carrots. That will be two coins, please. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. Oh, I mean Miffy. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and what would you like, Grunty? I'd like one of those, please. OK. Oh, it's very sticky. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yum, thank you. Call at Miffy's shop again soon. Bye. Bye, Miffy. Sorry that took so long, Miffy. They were right at the back. We had customers. We did. And you served them all by yourself. Mm hmm. Well done, Miffy. Now let's choose an exciting postcard for you. Mm. Uh, ooh. Ah, oh, this one. Miffy's shop. Oh, I mean, your shop. You did such a good job looking after my shop. You can have the postcard for free. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Bye. Bye, Miffy. Look, Mummy, I got a postcard. It's a picture of Barbara's shop. Well done. And did you think of something to write while you were out? No, I was so busy I forgot. Busy? Why, what did you get up to? Well, I went to the shop, but Barbara had run out of postcards. So she went to find some and I had to look after the whole shop, all by myself. And I sold things to Melanie and Granty. And I got a bun stuck to me, <laughs> like this. And then Barbara gave me the postcard for free to say thank you. Oh. <laughs> Slow down, I can't keep up. And look, the postcard is already full. I did have lots of exciting things to write about after all. Oh, I need some more postcards. Then we can write one to Grandma and Grandpa and Aunt Alice and... Miffy, if I write all those, my arm will drop off. Miffy? This is my toy, Monkey. Look, he can swing around. See? Wee! Oh. <laughs> Very nice, Melanie. Thank you. Grunty, your turn to show us your toy. Oh, great. <coughs> this is Quacky Duck. She goes quack. Oh, my crocodile goes snap. Can you show us, Dan? Oh, <laughs> look! It's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's a lovely crocodile, Dan. And a really nice quacky duck, Grunty. We've got time for one last toy. What did you bring, Miffy? My bear, of course. He loves dancing. <laughs> and hopping. <laughs> And hugging too. Oh, 
Oh, I can see you love your bear very much, Miffy. Mm-hmm. Right, that's the end of Bring Your Toy to School Day. Time to go home. Everyone put your toys away, then get your coats. In you go. See you tomorrow. Bye, Melanie. Bye, bye. Bye, Missy. See you tomorrow. <laughs> mummy, mummy. Bear had so much fun at school today. Oh, did he? <gasps> oh no! That's not my bear. That's Dan's crocodile. Oh dear! It looks like you brought Dan's bag home by mistake, and Dan must have yours. Don't worry. You can swap back tomorrow. Tomorrow. But I'll miss my bear. Oh, and Dan will miss his crocodile. You're right. I'll look after crocodile for Dan, and he can look after bear for me. That's the spirit. Now, I wonder how you take care of crocodiles. Uh, you have to hug him. Oh, he's a bit spiky. <laughs> Maybe crocodiles don't like hugs. But I wonder what they do like. Let's find out, Crocodile. <coughs> what are you doing, Miffy? I'm taking Crocodile for a walk, but he won't fit. <coughs> uh, oh. I don't think Crocodiles go for a walk in a pram, Miffy. Huh? Oh. Crocodile doesn't need to go in the pram. He's got his own wheels. Ready, crocodile. Uh, come on. <laughs> snap, snap, snap. Look, crocodile, this is the sofa. It's very comfy. Snap, snap, snap. And this is Aunt Alice. She's got a pretty dress, don't you think? Snap, snap, snap. Oh, <laughs> hello, Miffy. Who's this? It's Crocodile, Daddy. I'm looking after him for Dan. Nice to meet you, Crocodile. <laughs> I've just taken him for a walk. He's really hungry now. Well, it's a good job it's dinner time then. Mm. Oh. Mm. Don't you like carrots, Crocodile? Maybe he likes peas instead. Ooh. No, he doesn't like peas either. <laughs> he does like peas after all. Oh, yes. <laughs> Ooh, that's a pretty blanket. Shh, crocodile's asleep. <gasps> yes, he's had a busy day. You've taken really good care of him. Mm. Good night. <sighs> good night, Mummy. Good night, crocodile. Hmm. And good night, Bear at Dan's house. Oh, where is she? Dan? Hey, Missy. Look! Crocodile! You had him. I've taken good care of him. We went for a walk together and I gave him peas for dinner. Thank you, Missy. He doesn't like carrots, but he loves peas. Really? I didn't know that. Can I have Bear now, please? I don't have your bear. That's not my bear. No, it's Grunty's Quacky Duck. Then where's Bear? Miffy! Dan! Quacky Duck! Hello, Quacky Duck. Huh. But where's Bear? Here, of course. <gasps> oh, Bear! I missed hugging you. I took good care of him, I promise. Thank you for looking after him, Grunty. No problem. I loved looking after Bear. I really love Quacky Duck. <coughs> and he loves you too. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, Crocodile. Come on, Melanie. Snap, Come snap, on, Bear. Snap. snap. I thought Bring Your Toy to School Day was yesterday. Oh, hello, Mary.
Melanie. Hello, Granty. Hi, Miffy. We're going up the hill to fly our kites. Come with us. Swish. Swish. I'd love to. Just let me go and get my kites. Hurry, Miffy. I want to go now. Swish. Why don't you two go first and I'll catch you up before Granty takes off. Come on, hurry up. See you later, Miffy. See you, Miffy. Bye. Hello, Miffy. What's the hurry? Melanie and Granty have gone to fly their kites on the hill. I've got to catch them up. Oh, that sounds like fun. Aha. Uh -huh. mm, uh, oh, it's stuck. Don't pull too hard, Miffy. You might break. Oh. Oh, no. I broke it. I don't think it's completely broken. Mm -hmm. oh. The paper isn't broken, just this one stick. <gasps> if I can find a new stick, maybe I can mend it. <laughs> Mummy! Mummy! My kite's broken and I need a stick to mend it. Well, Miffy, you are in luck. I have some sticks right here. Hmm, it's very thin. Oh, you're right. I don't think this stick will be strong enough for a kite. They're for making these paper flowers, see? Oh, they're pretty. They're nearly finished. I just need to wrap a ribbon around them. Hmm, which do you think would look best? Uh, this one. You know, when I was buying these sticks earlier, Poppy Pig was buying some sticks too. Maybe she can help you. Oh, thanks, Mummy. I'll go and ask her. Good luck, Miffy. Oh, lovely. Hi, Poppy. Oh, hello, Miffy. I'm just making a climbing frame for my runner beans. Poppy, I need a stick to mend my broken kite. Can I use this one? Of course. Hmm. It's too heavy. The kite won't fly if it's too heavy. Oh, sorry, Miffy. But I know a bear who's very good at mending things. He might be able to help you. Oh, yes, of course. Boris! <laughs> Thanks, Poppy. Goodbye, Miffy. <laughs> Boris, help! Hi, Miffy. My kite's broken and I need a stick to mend it. Be right with you. I'm having a spot of bother. Let me help. Brilliant. Thanks, Miffy. Now, uh, a kite stick. Here you go. Thanks, Boris. Oh, no. It's too short. Oh. I'm sorry, Miffy. But these are the only sticks I've got. <sighs> Nobody has the right sort of sticks. I'll never mend my kite. Don't worry. Oh, hang on. <sighs> oh. Don't worry, Miffy. Miffy? Where have you gone? Oh, dear. Now, I wonder... What's wrong, Miffy? I couldn't mend my kite. Oh, that is a shame. Hmm. Look, the kites are dancing. <laughs> ah, they're so much fun to watch. Yes. What could be more fun than watching kites? Watching kites with my friends. Melanie, Granty, I'm coming. Missy, you've been ages. Oh, what happened to your kite, Missy? I broke it. I've been trying to fix it, but I can't. Here, you can have a go on mine if you want. No, no, play with mine. No, mine. Here, here. Uh, help. Hello again, Miffy. Oh, look, here's Boris. Hello, Boris. You were so good at helping me with my lampshade, I made you a little surprise. <gasps> what is it? It's a kite. 
I made it out of leftover lampshade material. Oh, thank you, Boris. It's all floppy. Yes, that's because it's a special kite that doesn't need any sticks. No sticks? But how will it fly? You'll see. Ready? One, two, three, go! <gasps> Ooh. It's flying with no sticks. Yes, brilliant, isn't it? Wow, that's brilliant. Look at that. Here. Oh. Miffy, can I have a go? No, I want to. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Hello, Miffy. Hello. It looks like you're in a hurry to get home. I am. It was the last day of school today and Daddy says he has a treat for me and my friends. <gasps> what is it? I don't know. That's why I'm in a hurry. <gasps> wow! A bouncy castle? What a lovely surprise! Thank you, Daddy. Oh, you're welcome, Miffy. Oh, I can't wait to get on and show you how it works. Oh, uh, right, yes. <laughs> I I'll let you have a go first, then. It's hard to walk on it. <laughs> so springy. But it doesn't hurt if you fall over. Ooh. Oh, you just boing back up again. Woo! Woohoo! Whee! Oh, 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 that's it, Miffy. Uh, up, down, uh, up, boing. down. <laughs> this is great. Boing, boing, jumping really high. Boing, 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 reach it to the sky. Phew, oh, I bet you're thirsty after all that busy boinging. Hey, eh? <laughs> come and get a drink. Oh, good idea. Oh, yes, it is a boingy one, isn't it? Huh? I might just have a, a quick. Oh, um, wow. Ah. Ooh, All right. <laughs> Maybe I'll have a go in a minute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Let's jump together. One, One two, two, three! Yes, that's, boing, that looks boing, great fun. Boing, boing. Watch this, Daddy. One, two, three, and turn. Oh, I've just had a great idea. Why don't we try it with three bouncing? Hmm? Oh, that is a good idea. Yes. Make room for Grunty. Hooray! Oh, drinks for later. And why have you got a first aid box? Oh, uh, well, just in case anyone takes a tumble. Oh. Don't worry, Grunty. It doesn't hurt even if you do fall Ooh. over. Here I come! Yeah! Ooh. Come on, Grunty! Ooh. Come on! Boy! Boy, 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 jumping really high. Boy, 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 reach to the sky. Boy, 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 jumping really high. Jumping really high, boing 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 boing, 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 reaching to the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Phew, <laughs> that looks like thirsty work. Why don't you come on down and get a lovely cold drink? No thanks, Daddy. We're having too much fun <gasps> to stop. Yes, too much fun. Mmm, are you sure? Because this lemonade is so cool and refreshing. Just a quick one. Go on, 
and then a me. Well, it's a shame to see the castle going to waste. Oh, ho, ho. boing, boing, boing. Boing, boing, boing. Oh. Put a hole in it. Are you okay? Do you need a plaster? I'm all right, Grunty. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. A plaster might be useful after all. Really? Mm. All we have to do now is find a hole. Mm. Uh, um, um. Hmm. Uh. Here it is, and here's the plaster. Here's the pump. And here's the pump power. Huh. Yay! <laughs> Nearly there. Yay! Yay! Thanks, Daddy. <laughs> it's as good as new. Well, hey! You can have the first bounce if you like. <laughs> Maybe we'll just let him have a little rest. Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh. Here we are. Out you hop, Miffy. Grandpa! <laughs> Hello, Miffy. Where's Grandma? She's busy in the kitchen. Oh, I hope she's making her delicious pear cake. Oh, yes. It's my mm -hmm. favourite. I like to eat mine with custard. Mm. And cream is nice, too. Uh, or ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone seems to love Grandma's pear cake, Miffy. It sounds delicious. Yes, it does. But I've never eaten it before. I know. I'm going to ask Grandma to make it for me. Grandma! Miffy! Oh! Are you two coming in? Not yet. We're just popping out. We've got a couple of things to do. Don't be long. Come on, we Grandma! Ooh, I'm really looking forward to this. <laughs> Can we make your pear cake, please? Oh, no, Miffy. I'm afraid we can't. Why not? Because we haven't got any pears. No pears means no pear cake. Oh. Unless we go to the market and buy some. Oh, can we go to the market now, please? Yes, that might be fun. Come on. Hooray! Hmm. <laughs> I wonder where Grandpa and Daddy have got to. Come on, Grandma. We need to get to the market. <laughs> Come and get your greens, lovely sprouts and runner beans. Big fish, little fish, shellfish, flatfish. I have cheese, lovely cheese. Who wants cheese? Just say please. Cheese, please. It's smelly. <laughs> <laughs> smelly, but tasty. Would you like to try some? No, thank you. We need pears today. Bye. Bye-bye. I have fish, lovely fish. Who wants fish to make a dish? Look, Grandma. Fish, fish, big fish. <laughs> Would you like to buy this fish? No, we're making a pear cake, not a fish cake. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. I have fruit, I have veg, apple, banana and leek. Just come here and take a peek. We want pears, we want pears. Pears? Oh, bad luck. I've run out. <gasps> oh. See, someone came not long ago and bought all of my pears and now I don't have any left. Oh. Oh, that's a shame. No pears means no pear cake. And I really want to make a pear cake. How about some apples to make apple fritters? I wanted a pear cake. 
Oh, tell you what, Miffy, we can make a pear cake next time you visit. OK. Let's go home, then. Onion, garlic, celery, mango, rhubarb, strawberry. Oh, I like strawberries. Can we buy some of those, Grandma? Of course. A punnet of strawberries, please. Here you go. I know how we can make pear cake without pears. How? We can make it with strawberries. A strawberry cake? Oh, that sounds yummy. Oh, but I like carrots too. Let's make a carrot cake instead. No, a carrot and strawberry cake. Uh, OK. Why not? Let's try something new. And one bunch of carrots, please. Save a slice of cake for me. <laughs> we will. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Grandma, the cake is ready. Oh, it smells good. I wonder what it will taste like. That walk has given me quite a thirst. Uh, yeah, and quite a hunger, too. <laughs> Surprise! Where did you get all those pears from? From the market, of course. <gasps> so it was you and Grandpa who bought all the pears? Uh, well, yes. To, to make a delicious pear cake with. But you made a cake already. Yes, we went to the market, but there were no pears left. Someone had bought them all. Oh. Uh, oh, dear. So we made a cake without pears. A cake without pears? Yes, it's Miffy's own recipe. A carrot and strawberry cake. Oh. Oh, that's an interesting combination. Hmm. Well? Mm. Oh. Mm. Delicious. Even better than your pear cake. Mm. Oh, yes. Well done, Miffy. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Uh, oh, it just needs some custard. Oh, cream, I say. Oh. No, ice cream. <laughs> no, but ice cream's too cold. Well, and cream is too runny. Not whipped cream. But you didn't say whipped cream. Oh, Daddy. You're in a hurry, Miffy. Where are you going? To Puppy Pig's house. Poppy's taking me and Grunty on a nature hike. <laughs> you should save some energy for all that walking then. <laughs> but this is running. I've got loads of energy for walking. <laughs> if you say so, Miffy. Ah, here's our last nature hiker. Hello, Poppy. Hi, Miffy. Hi, Grunty. I can't wait for a lovely long nature hike. Is it a very long way? Quite long. But that's what makes it fun. There's so much to see along the way. Where are we going? Wherever the mood takes us, Miffy. Then we follow the map and it will lead us back home in time for lunch. Lunch? What are we waiting for? Let's go! Puppy, what will we see on our nature hike? Why don't you use the binoculars and have a look? And Grunty, see if you can spot where we are on the map. Um, uh, mm. Wow, I can see so far. <gasps> There's a bird in a nest. <gasps> a green caterpillar. And Grunty. <laughs> what else can we look for, Poppy? All sorts. Tell you what, why don't I think of some special things we can look for along the way? Oh, like a treasure hunt. Exactly, Grunty. Let's think. Uh, I know. A stripy shell, a spiky leaf and... A feather. A fluffy feather. That's a good one, Miffy. And I'm going to be the first to find them all. Not if I get there first. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Look, Grunty's shells! 
Oh, yes! Let's see if we can find this stripey one. Mm. <gasps> stripey shell! Oh! Grunty! <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. oh, that was close! <laughs> Always keep hold of the map, Grunty. We needed to find our way home. Oops, sorry. But well done for being first to find a stripey shell. I think I found who lives in it, too. Oh, look. Goodbye, little snail. Oh, it's so windy. <sighs> Maybe your ears are trying to fly. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hold on a moment, girls. I I'm not quite sure where we are. So, uh, we came up this way, which means we should be heading towards... Oh, oh Poppy! <laughs> oh, the map! Oh, oh, no! Look, Poppy, you found a spiky leaf. Yay! Well done, me. We found a stripy shell and a spiky leaf. Ooh. Oh. Um. But I'm afraid we've lost the map. It's blown away. Oh, no. Does that mean we're lost, too? How will we get home? Oh, don't worry. I'm sure we can think of a way to find my house again. We can ask someone the way. Uh, I can't see anyone to ask. I know. We can use the binoculars to find your house. Good thinking, Miffy. The bird. <gasps> and there's the map. Quick, if we can get the map back, we can find our way home. Come on. Oh, 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 oh that map. <laughs> that oh. way. <laughs> oh. Oh. Nearly. Huh. This oh. way. Come on. Oh. I like getting back home, too. Oh, especially in perfect time for a picnic lunch. <laughs> a picnic? <laughs> yeah, yay! yay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Wow, following maps makes you really hungry. Hey, <laughs> that's my strawberry. She little bird. Oh, a feather. I found a fluffy feather. <gasps> the last thing to collect. Well done. Now we found everything, including our way home. <laughs> There's only one thing left to find. What's that? A friend with ticklish feet. Tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle, tickle. doing with those rocks, Miffy? Playing football. <laughs> football? Wouldn't a ball be better than a rock? <laughs> the rock's not the ball. I'm making the goal. Melanie's bringing her ball and we're going to play with Dan and Grunty. Hey, Miffy. Hi, Dan. Look what I've got. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that made me jump. Here's my new jack-in-the-box. He's funny. Can I have a go? OK. Just turn the handle. Oh! <laughs> He's great. But I don't think he can play football. Look out! Oh! <gasps> Did you see that shot? 
Hi, Melanie. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Miffy. Hi, Dan. What's in the box? I'll show you. Oh! <laughs> He's brilliant! Come on, let's play! Woohoo! Or be in goal! But Runty likes being in goal. Yes, but she's not here. We can play until she gets here. <laughs> um. Hmm. Oh! You'll be safe there. It's over here! Race you! <laughs> OK! <laughs> Miffy! Melanie! Dan! Where are you? Ooh! What's this? <laughs> oh! <laughs> You're funny! Let's play together until I find my friends! Yes! Goal! Great goal, Miffy! Ooh. Oh, my jack-in-the-box is gone! Are you sure that's where you left it? Of course I'm sure! It was right here! <laughs> Don't be sad, Dan. We'll find him. We can look in more places if we split up. OK? Do you really think we'll find him? I'm sure of it. Let's go. We'll find Jack and bring him back. It's Dan's box behind these rocks. Where are you, Jack? Please come back. Know that sound. <laughs> Granty, look what I've got, Miffy. Oh, oh. <laughs> that stands Jack in the Box. No, it's mine. I found it. There was no one playing with it. Dan put it down to play football. Oh. But I didn't see Dan. Maybe this is another Jack in the Box. <laughs> hmm. Granty, it is the same one. Don't look at me like that. Oh, Is it really Dan's? Mm -hmm. Dan's really sad. He's been looking for it everywhere. Mm -hmm. OK, I'll give it back. <gasps> what if Dan won't be my friend anymore? I didn't mean to take his toy. I'm sure he'll understand it was just a mistake. I hope so. I can't find Jack anywhere. Neither can I. Sorry, Dan. <gasps> huh? Grunty! You found my Jack! Uh, kind of. I did find him, but only because I took him first. I'm really sorry, Dan. It was just a mistake. Grunty didn't know Jack was yours. It's OK, Grunty. I'm just really happy to have him back. Oh, can I still play football? Of course. You can be goalie. That's my favourite position. Are you sure? Yes, of course. Oh, oh, oh. oh <laughs> not again. <laughs> it looks like Jack wants you to play too. So, what are we waiting for? Let's play! <laughs> Come on then. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Hello? Oh no, how terrible. Huh? Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Oh, I do hope you feel better soon. Bye. That was Aunt Alice, Miffy. She's feeling poorly, so she's tucked herself up in bed. She sounded very miserable. We should try and cheer her up. Oh, what a good idea. Hmm, I'll make her some of my special carrot soup. Mm. A mug of that cures just about anything. And I'm going to find some more things to cheer up, Aunt Alice. <laughs> Are you all right, Miffy? I am, but Aunt Alice isn't. She's feeling poorly. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm trying to think of some things to cheer her up. Well, what cheers you up when you're feeling miserable? Uh, a cuddle for my teddy. Ooh, mm, my ball. And, mm, ah, my scooter. Anything else? <laughs> Snuffy! Snuffy always cheers me up. Goodness me, Miffy. What are all your toys doing here? They're to cheer up Aunt Alice. Oh, that's nice, Miffy. But are you sure the things that cheer you up will cheer Aunt Alice up? She might be a bit old for bouncing balls and riding scooters. I suppose so. And as lovely as Snuffy is, Aunt Alice might not want a doggy running around when she's not well. So, to cheer Aunt Alice up, I need to find things that she likes. Aunt Alice likes making and drawing things. Very good. Why don't you make or draw her something? Yes. I'll draw her a picture. <laughs> I've drawn Teddy, my ball, my scooter and Snuffy. Oh, that's very good, Miffy. Now, the things that cheer me up can cheer up Aunt Alice too. And my carrot soup is ready as well. Let's go visit her now. Whee! I thought we agreed not to take Aunt Alice your scooter. <laughs> it's not for Aunt Alice, it's for me. The faster we get there, the faster we can cheer her up. <laughs> oh, Miffy. Aunt Alice, we're here. Oh, not so loud, Miffy. Hello, Aunt Alice. Oh, hello. Hello, Aunt Alice. How beautiful. Thank you. Oh, <gasps> oh no. Did our flowers make you sneeze? <laughs> Oh, it's all right, Miffy. The flowers are lovely. It's just my cold that's making me sneeze. You'll feel better soon, Aunt Alice. Mummy may do her special carrot soup. I'll go and find a mug to put it in. And I may do this. Oh, Miffy, what a wonderful picture. It's all the things that cheer me up when I'm feeling poorly. Very good and very thoughtful. Thank you, dear. Achoo! Here you are, a nice mug of my carrot soup. Oh, it's delicious. Thank you, both of you. I'm feeling better already. Achoo! Oh, <laughs> well, almost. <laughs> well, have a nice long sleep and you'll feel right as rain in the morning. Bye, Aunt Alice. Achoo! Come on, Miffy. You'll be late for school. I don't feel very well. Oh, you don't look very well, Miffy. Oh, dear. I think you've caught Aunt Alice's cold, Miffy. Oh, no. No school for you today. Oh. Go back to sleep for a bit and I'll make something to cheer you up. OK. Thank you, Mummy. <sighs> Guess what I've got for you? Oh, your special carrot soup. Yum. Mmm. And look who else I found. Hello, Miffy. Are you feeling better? 
much better, thanks to you. So now it's my turn to visit and cheer you up. Here you are. Oh, a new ball. And a new scarf for Bear. How did you know what would cheer me up? Well, <laughs> you drew me a picture with all of them on. Remember? Hmm, but something's missing. What could it be? <laughs> Snuffy! <laughs> you came to visit me too. <laughs> All I need now is my scooter. <laughs> I don't think you're quite well enough for that yet. Then I'll have to get better fast. <laughs> you said... <laughs> one mug of your soup can cure anything. <laughs> She's got a point. After all, it worked for me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Miffy. Is something wrong? I want to play hide-and-seek with my friends outside. But it's raining. Oh, dear. You can't go to the park when it's raining, can you? No. There are puddles everywhere, and they've spoiled everything. Sounds to me like someone's in a bit of a grump. I am not in a grump. I just want to play outside with my friends. <laughs> oh! <gasps> it's Snuffy! <laughs> Suggy Duggy! That's nice. One of your friends has come to see you. Stay still, Snuffy! I need to dry you! <laughs> Snuffy, you're all wet! Snuffy, where are you? Have you lost Snuffy? I think she's hiding. <laughs> then maybe you can play hide and seek after all. Oh, yes. Coming, ready or not. Uh... <laughs> huh? Snuffy, is that you? Disappeared. <laughs> Snuffy. <laughs> there you are. I can see you. Oh. Stay there, Snuffy. Hello, Miffy. Grunty! You came to play. I'm playing hide and seek with Snuffy. You can help me catch her if you like. Ooh, she's hiding over there. Uh, Snuffy's good at hiding. Oh, she must have found a new hiding place. Come on, let's find her. Snuffy, Snuffy, where has she gone? <coughs> Ooh, Snuffy's hiding forever so long. Snuffy, Snuffy, are you over here? Snuffy has completely disappeared. Snuffy, Snuffy, where can she be? Snuffy is hiding from Grunty and me. Snuffy, Snuffy, are you over there? Snuffy can be hiding anywhere. <laughs> <sighs> Snuffy is good at hiding. Ooh. She's left some soggy doggy paw prints. Let's follow them. Come on. Snuffy <laughs> found you! <laughs> <laughs> that was a good game, Snuffy. But I do need to get you dry. <laughs>
Stop! Come back, Snuffy! Drop it! Come back! Snuffy, Snuffy, come back, sit! That's an umbrella, not a stick! Snuffy, Snuffy, we'll catch you! You can run, but we're fast too! Snuffy, Snuffy, you're too quick! That's my brolly! Please drop it! Okay, you and Grunty go that way, and I'll go this way. Okay? <laughs> I got my umbrella back. <gasps> Let's play splashing in puddles. <laughs> Are you having fun with your friends, Miffy? Oh, yes. We played hide and seek and tug of war and chase. And now we're playing splashing in puddles. Well, it looks like you can have fun and play games on rainy days after all. Mm -hmm. And you can only splash in puddles when it's been raining. Look! Ah. <gasps> <laughs> puddles are fun! <laughs> Hello, Miffy. What are you looking for? Shh. I'm not looking. I'm listening. Huh? What's that funny noise? <gasps> Here he is! It's Uncle Pilot. Hello, Miffy! Hello, Uncle Pilot! <laughs> <sighs> I've brought you a surprise. I love surprises. It's inside this box. Help me carry it to your house. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. What is my surprise, Uncle Pilot? <laughs> I'll give you a clue. It's something to do with dragons. Dragons? Hello. I thought I heard your plane. <laughs> How about a nice cup of tea? Oh, lovely. What do you think is in the box, Miffy? Uncle Pilot said that it was something to do with dragons. <laughs> You'd better be careful then. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> Hi, Melanie. Hello, Miffy. Where's Uncle Pilot? Ooh, what's that? It's a surprise from Uncle Pilot. It's something to do with dragons. Dragons? Dragons aren't real, are they? Uncle Pilot said so. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. I've never seen anything like it. What could it be? It's wrapped in straw, so it must be very precious. It's a funny shape, like a prickly egg. That's what it is, a dragon egg. Uh, you might be right, Miffy. Oh, if we can hatch it, we could see a real life dragon. Wow, dragons are big. I know, let's take it outside where there's more space. Oh. Oh, careful, Melanie. Oh. I know. Let's make a nest to keep the dragon's egg safe. <laughs> oh, these are nice. These look good. Got one. Snap! Ah, <laughs> oh, it's all prickly. Ooh. Careful, Miffy. Oh, 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 oh. Phew. Hmm. How can we make it hatch? We could sing it a song so it knows we're waiting. OK. Wake up, dragon, wake up and play. I really want to see a dragon today. Wake up, dragon, come and say hi. I 
really want to see a dragon fly. Wake up, dragon, we made you a nest. I really want to see a dragon the best. Oh, it didn't work. <gasps> I know. When birds want eggs to hatch, they sit on them. Ow! It's too prickly to sit on. <laughs> We'll just have to wait for it to hatch on its own. Mm. What is that delicious smell? Hello, Grunty. <laughs> Ow! That prickled my nose. Careful, Grunty. That's our egg. An egg? I knew I could smell something delicious. Yum, yum, yum. <gasps> wait! It's a special dragon egg. A dragon egg? Mm-hmm. Dragons? With big teeth. And fire. And... Uh, run! Hide! Whoa there, Grunty. Oh. What's the rush? They've got a dragon egg. It can hatch any second. A dragon egg? Mm -hmm. Does this have anything to do with you, by any chance? Ah, well, I might have said something. <laughs> Hello, Uncle Pilot. We found your dragon egg. Yes, we're waiting for it to hatch. <laughs> then you'll be waiting a very long time. This isn't a dragon egg, Miffy. But you said my surprise was something to do with dragons. It is. This is a dragon fruit. The most delicious fruit there is. Oh. Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> Right, Uncle Pilot. Mm. This is mm. delicious. Mm. <laughs> Next time you come, will you bring me another dragon egg? I mean, fruit. <laughs> no. Huh? I always bring you a surprise. Now you know what a dragon fruit is. It wouldn't be a surprise, would it? No, you're right. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll bring something just as special instead. <laughs> Bye! What is it, Miffy? What can you see? Look, it snowed last night. Ooh, pretty. Ooh, I can build a snow bunny and make snowballs. Hooray! Woohoo! Uh, hold on, Miffy. You'd better put a coat on and wear a scarf. It's very cold outside. I know. I'll get you some breadcrumbs. Hello. Welcome. Ooh. Mummy was right, it is cold. I'm glad I have my coat and scarf. But you must be cold too. Maybe I can get a coat for you. I don't think birds wear coats. Or scarves either. Maybe you're right. I know. You can come inside to warm up. Come on, this way. <laughs> Look! This way! Welcome to my house! Oh! <laughs> hey, look out! Oh! No, stay still! 
No, stop! Wait! Come back! Oh, no! Miffy, what's going on? Sorry, Mummy. I wanted the bear to be warm because it's so cold outside. That's very sweet. But birds don't live in houses like ours, so it's scary and confusing for him. Out you go, little bird. Do you understand why I had to let him out again? Yes, Mummy. <sighs> What I need to do. What are you doing now, Miffy? I'm doing what Mummy said. I don't remember her saying anything about leaves and twigs. Mummy said birds find houses like Owl scary and confusing. I'll make the bird feel at home by turning our house into a nest. I'm not sure that's what Mummy meant. nesty place to put them. Uh, there. Oh, yes. Um, like that. There. Oh, Miffy. Look, Mummy. I'm making the house like a nest, so the bird will feel at home. Oh, that's not what I meant at all. And now there are leaves and twigs everywhere. Oh, sorry, Mummy. If I can't make our house into a bird's home, maybe I can make a bird's home more like our house. What are you going to do, Miffy? You'll see. It's a surprise, but I need Boris to help me. Hello, Miffy. Hello, Boris. Can you make something for me? What do you need? A chair? A table? A wooden thing? Can you make me a... That's a brilliant idea. Of course I'll help you. Yes. I'm a heel, a polished air. You need a building, I'm your bear. I love to make things all day long. And sometimes Boris gets it wrong. Making things is so much fun. Come on, Boris, get it done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, bird. How do you like your new house? Ah, so that's what Boris built for you. Now the bird has a house just like mine. He'll be nice and warm and I can see him every day. <laughs> Hello. Ha. Come on. <laughs> Hello, Miffy. Have you found a new friend? Oh, yes. I'm at the farm with Daddy. Look, it's a cow. Moo, moo. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Miffy. But where's Daddy? Daddy's over there with the chickens. Oh, hey, no. Hey, hey, shoo, shoo. <laughs> uh, no, maybe you should go and help him. OK. Go on, uh, off you go. <laughs> back, back to your mummy. I think the chicks like you, Daddy. Oh, oh, oops. Oh, I am sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. I see my little chicks taking a shine to you. Thank you. Do you like my farm, Miffy? I love it. I want to take all the animals home and be a farmer too. Now, Miffy, these animals belong to the farmer. And where would we put them? Our garden isn't that big. I just 
really wanted to be a farmer. Well, you don't need lots of animals to be a farmer, Miffy. I don't. Goodness, no. Some farms just grow crops. I could be a farmer that grows crops. Tell you what, I might have something here to get you started. Oh. Don't worry, Miffy. Sometimes the biggest farms start by planting the tiniest seed. Ooh. Thank you, Mr. Farmer. Come on, Daddy, come on. I'm going to be a farmer too. Oh! Right behind you, Miffy. <laughs> Bye now. Good luck. It needs soft soil, lots of water, and plenty of sunshine oh. to grow. Hmm. <laughs> Let's find a good spot to plant it. How about here? Yes, this is the perfect place for your seed. I'll dig a hole. Wait, can I dig it? I am the farmer. You're right. Here you are. Thank you, Daddy. I'll leave you to it. Happy farming. Right. Dig, 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 I'm planting a seed. Dig, dig, dig with everything I need. Pat, pat, pat it, pat it with my hand. Pat, pat, pat and water from the can. Hello, Miffy. Hi, Miffy. Where have you been? Hi, Grunty. Hi, Melanie. I've been to the farm. And now I'm going to be a farmer too. Look, I've planted a seed. Um, I can't see anything. Well, it takes time to grow. Come back tomorrow and you'll see. I'll have the best farm ever. Come on, you two, race you. Coming. Coming. said your farm would be ready by now, Miffy. Well, I still don't see anything. Come on, let's go skipping. In a minute. <sighs> What's the matter, Miffy? My seed didn't grow. It must be broken. No, you have to be patient. Seeds take a long time to grow big and strong. I was patient. I waited all night. Maybe I'm not a good farmer after all. Well, I think you should give your seed a little bit more time and maybe a little bit more water. All right, then. There. Your seed will grow now. I just know it. OK. Miffy! Mm -hmm. Are you coming to play, Miffy? Coming! What a beautiful sunflower! Oh, well done, Farmer Miffy! Wow! How did it get so big? A little bit of time and a lot of watering. I could never grow a sunflower as big as yours, Miffy. Yes, you could. Daddy, lift me up and I'll pick some new seeds. Now it's your turn to be farmers. Wow, thanks, Missy. Come on, Grunty, let's go and plant them. Let's go! <laughs> well, you make a great farmer, Miffy. So, now can I have some farm animals too? Some cows, or maybe some little chicks? Uh, uh, chicks? No, no, thank you. I think you could have a cow to look after, though. <laughs> Come on, Daddy Cow, this way. <laughs> Hello, Miffy. Are you playing catch today? Mm -mm. Nope. Guess again. I'll give you a clue. Hmm. Are you playing 
balance the ball? <laughs> mm -mm. Keepy uppy? No. Do you want another clue? Melanie's going to play it with me. I know. It's tennis. Yes. I'm playing tennis with Melanie. Hi, Miffy. Hi, Melanie. Ready to play? Yes! <laughs> Hi, Snuffy. Have you come to watch us play tennis? <laughs> oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Miffy, what's wrong? Melanie's not looking for the ball and Snuffy's not looking for the ball. I'll have to find it by myself. Are you sure Snuffy wasn't trying to help? What does Snuffy like doing best? Uh, chasing balls. She chased our ball everywhere. So what is Snuffy best at? Oh, fetching balls. Do you know where our ball is? <laughs> you do? Melanie! Snuffy knows where our ball is! Uh -uh. Snuffy's just spoiling our game. She made us lose our ball. But Snuffy's very good at finding balls too. Go on, Snuffy, fetch! <laughs> So where is our ball? Snuffy hasn't found it. I can't see it anywhere. Snuffy's trying to tell us it's here somewhere. I'm sure of it. Here it is. You didn't know where it was, Snuffy. Well done. 
good Snuffy. Come on, Snuffy. Come on, play tennis with us. But, Luffy, dogs can't play tennis. Dogs can play tennis if they play it my way. the game again. Wait and see. Oh, <laughs> Snuffy's helping. Thank you, Snuffy. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> ah. Ooh. <laughs> Good girl, Snuffy. <laughs> Miffy? What are you up to? Looking for fairies. Snuffy's helping. It looks more like Snuffy wants to play fetch. <laughs> Look, it's a magic wand. <laughs> a magic wand? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. A fairy must have dropped it. Clever, Snuffy. Watch me do magic. It must be broken. Maybe you have to say some magic words. <gasps> You're right. I wish there was a fairy. Oh, what a thing to be. I weighed my wand like magic. Oh, what a thing to see. Wow! I did magic. I made a bird happen. <laughs> Maybe it is magic after all. I can do fairy magic. I can't wait to show my friends. Oh. 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 I wish I had longer arms. <laughs> Look, I found a magic fairy wand. A real magic fairy wand! Wow! Just looks like a stick to me. <gasps> it's not. It's a magic fairy wand. What? I'll turn those yellow pears into red apples. <sighs> they still look like yellow pears to me. It's broken. I can't be a fairy if my wand won't work. It's a shame if his wand is broken. She looks very upset. I don't think it is a magic wand, Grunty. I think it's just a stick. <gasps> but I know how to cheer her up. Red, but they're not apples. These are apples, but they're not red. Oh, it's hard to concentrate when you're hungry. <gasps> they're red and they're apples. Melanie, it's not a wand, it's just a stick. I think we should try again. But this time, say some magic words. <gasps> You're right. Huh? I didn't say any magic words. No wonder it didn't work. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Ooh. I wish I was a fairy, I want a thing to be. I'd wave my wand like magic, I want a thing to see. <gasps> I did it, I did it, I'm a real fairy. <laughs> well done, Miffy. I'm going to show Mummy, I can do magic. I'll turn our whole house into a big castle. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now she wants to turn her house into a castle. How is she going to do that? She won't, unless we help her again. 
Come on. will now turn this house into a big castle. I wish I was a fairy, I want to sing to be. I'd wave my wand like magic, I want to sing to see. <gasps> Look! I told you! Pretend, wasn't it? My magic fairy wand isn't magic at all. I'm sorry, Miffy. We were just trying to cheer you up. You looked so sad when your wand didn't work. You did this just to cheer me up? I've got the best friends ever. <laughs> 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 Look, I think Snuffy wants to play fetch. <laughs> <laughs> Miffy, are you sad that your stick wasn't a magic wand? No. You can have fun with sticks, even if they aren't magic. As long as you've got magic friends to help. <laughs> <laughs> Snuffy! <laughs> Hello, Miffy. You're in a good mood today. Where are you off to? To my ballet lesson at Aunt Alice's house. I love dancing. Du, 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 du. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, it sounds like Aunt Alice is starting. Ah, <gasps> la la. Ooh, I better hurry. Ah, hello, Miffy. Just in time. Ready for your ballet lesson? Yes, Aunt Alice. OK, ballerinas. Let's start with a plie. Plie means you have to bend your knee. I know. Good try. And again. Oh, lovely plie, ballerinas. Right, let's try a pirouette. <laughs> Whee! And now I want to see skipping ballerinas. <laughs> well done, Miffy and Melanie. Let's see if you can put all three moves together. Plie. Pirouette. Excellent. And skip. It's Grunty. Come on in, Grunty. Hello. Can Miffy and Melanie come out to play, please? Well, we've almost finished our ballet lesson. Just a few more minutes and I'll... <sighs> Tell you what. Why don't you join in? That can be fun too. But I've never done ballet before. Oh, don't worry, Grunty. I'm sure you'll pick it up in no time. We'll help you. Grunty! First, we do a plie. A what? A plie. You bend your knees. My tummy's hungry. <laughs> My tummy's hungry too. And mine. Well, it is almost lunchtime. Why don't you two teach Grunty some more dance steps while I get lunch ready? Yes! yes! I know. I'll play the piano. Ah. Watch, Grunty. Whee! Oh. Huh? 
careful. No. Don't flap your arms, Granty. Oh, I can't do ballet like you, Miffy. Just keep trying. Let's skip like this. <laughs> now it's your turn, Granty. Don't flap your arms this time, OK? Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Granty. You're doing a boing boing dance. <laughs> Boing, 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 boing. Oh my, what's that noise? Hmm, it's stopped now. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. What a lot of boings! We want to show you something, Aunt Alice. Now you play the piano. Oh, uh, well, here goes. Yes, boing, 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 boing. Bravo! Bravo! I've never seen anyone dance like that. Granty showed us. Yes! And I could show you as well, Aunt Alice. Come on. Boing, boing, boing! Boing, 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 boing! Boing, 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 I can see how much you love dancing, Miffy. <laughs> yes, dancing is fun. Even dancing Granty's way. Boing, 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 boing. Come on, Snuffy. Oh, Snuffy. Ah. Yes, Snuffy. Ah. Hello, Miffy. Are you and Snuffy playing a game? Yes, we're playing fetch. It's Snuffy's favourite. Where's the stick, Snuffy? <laughs> Snuffy. <laughs> Looks like Snuffy's found a new favourite game. Where today? Listen. I don't think you can hear leaves falling, Miffy. I know that, but you can hear them when Snuffy runs through them. Listen. Oh, I hear it now. That scrunching noise. <laughs> Ooh. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Ooh. I have to go home now, Snuffy. It's time for lunch. Crunch, 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 I'm going home for lunch. Crunch, 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 I'm going home for lunch. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, hello, Aunt Alice. Hello, Miffy dear. What are you doing? I love the colour of autumn leaves, so I'm painting this tree. I love autumn leaves too, because they go crunch, crunch, crunch. So I hear. Well, I can't paint the sound, but I can paint their colour. Can I see it when it's finished? Of course, but I'll be a while yet. OK, I'll come back after lunch. Crunch, 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 I'm coming home for lunch. Crunch, 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 I'm coming home for lunch. Lunch isn't quite ready yet, Miffy. Why don't you play in the garden for a little bit? OK. <laughs> What are you going to do with those leaves, Miffy? 
You know what I'm going to do. I crunched and scrunched all the way home. So now I'm going to crunch and scrunch all round the garden. <laughs> 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 oh, Miffy! Hmm? <gasps> I just raked those up. Someone has to keep our garden neat and tidy. <sighs> oh, sorry. They look so grunchy and scrunchy. I couldn't help it. But don't worry, Daddy. I'll rake them up again for you. Rake, rake, rake. I've got a part to make. Rake, rake, rake. I've got a part to make. Rake, rake, rake. I've got to pile to make. <laughs> You've got to be quick to beat the wind or they'll blow away. Rake, crake, crake. I've got to pile to make. Rake, crake, crake. I've got to pile to make. Rake, crake, crake. I've got to pile to make. Rake, crake, crake. I've got to pile to make. Oh, good job, Miffy. All neat and <laughs> snuffy. <laughs> We're not playing in the leaves now, Snuffy. We're keeping the garden neat and tidy. Like this. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, there. All done. Not quite. I'm not letting that one get away. <laughs> oh, missed it. Oh, nearly. Now it's time to paint your beautiful red leaves. Oh, no. I've run out of red paint. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there it is. Oh. oh. We've been chasing this naughty leaf and now it's landed on your painting. Sorry, Aunt Alice. Oh, that's all right, Miffy. I can't finish it anyway. I've run out of red paint. Oh, no. You need red to paint the leaves. <gasps> what if we finish your painting with real leaves, like that one? Ah, that's a brilliant idea, Miffy. We'll make my picture into a collage with real leaves. Oh. <laughs> uh, hmm. This is a good one. Oh, and this? <gasps> it looks just like the real tree. Crunch, crunch, crunch. We're going home for lunch. Crunch, crunch, crunch. We're going home for lunch. Oh, hello, Alice. You're just in time for lunch. Look what we made. Oh, how beautiful. I want you to keep it, Miffy. After all, your idea saved my painting. Or should that be our collage? <laughs> Can I hang it up here for you? Oh, thank you. That would be lovely. There. Now lunchtime feels just like a picnic in the woods. <laughs> 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 Muffy. <laughs> Not again. Hello, Miffy. Where are you off to? Granty's house. I'm going camping in her garden. I can't wait. Oh, how exciting. Melanie and Granta will be there too. So will you be camping outside all night long? Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Will it be really dark? Well, yes. That's what happens at night. But you won't be on your own. Hmm. You're right. I'm sure we'll have lots of fun. Bye! <laughs> Hi, Poppy. Wow! Is oh. that the tent? Hello, Miffy. Yes, it'll be lovely and cosy for you and your friends. Hello, Grunty. Hello, Melanie. Hi, Miffy. We're getting ready for our camping adventure. Yes! It's going to be so much fun. But do we have to camp outside all night? There's nothing to be scared of. It's easy, Miffy. I've camped outside loads of times. 
Okay, if you say so. You'll be fine, Miffy. Melanie and Grunty will be right here with you, and I'll be just inside the house. We're going to sing songs and play games and even have a midnight feast. A midnight feast? Yes. Look. <gasps> oh, yummy. <laughs> oh, Snuffy, <laughs> that's for our midnight feast. <laughs> <laughs> I think Snuffy wants to go camping too. <laughs> Snuffy, <laughs> that's my apple. Have <laughs> <laughs> <Bad. laughs> Drop it. <laughs> <laughs> Snuffy! Um, I think Snuffy should keep that apple now she's licked it. Oh, Snuffy! I can't wait to have our midnight feast. We should at least wait until it's dark. Oh, I suppose so. Besides, we can't have a camping adventure without a camping song, can we? <laughs> Come on, I'll teach you. <laughs> We're camping in the garden all night long. We're camping in the garden, and this is our camping song. We're camping in the garden all night long. We're camping in the garden, and this is our camping song. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Camping is fun. <laughs> you're it. Got you. <laughs> you're right, it. girls. Oh, Bedtime. Here I come. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you stay with us a little bit longer, Poppy? Oh, there isn't room in the tent for me, but this should help you get settled. Ooh. Ooh, how pretty. There. It'll shine on you all night long. Now, into the tent and I'll see you in the morning. Night, Poppy. Night, night, Poppy. Night, night, Poppy. Sleep tight. Night, night, girls. Time for our midnight feast. Hooray! Yay! Nom, nom, nom. I heard something. Hmm? What is it? Did you hear that? Uh, it's just an owl. Nothing to be scared of. Go back to sleep. <gasps> Did you hear that? What is it? I don't know. <laughs> It's a monster! <laughs> That's not a monster. It's Snuffy! Hello, Snuffy! It's Snuffy! Snuffy. She came camping after all. <laughs> Snuffy! That tickles! Whoa! Snuffy! Snuffy. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, are you all right? What's going on? We were fast asleep and then we heard noises. We thought it was a monster. But Miffy knew it was Snuffy. And then... Um... My, my, you really have had a camping adventure, haven't you? We were having so much fun, but now the tent's broken. I suppose it's all over. Oh, I don't think so. Not yet. I've got a brilliant idea. <laughs> Here you are, some chocolate milk. Thanks, Poppy. Thank you. Thanks, Poppy. We don't want Snuffy knocking down our new ten. She's fast asleep, just like you three should be. Oh, <laughs> good night, girls. <laughs> night, 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 night. night. <laughs> I can't wait to go camping outside again. Can we do it tomorrow night, Grunty? <coughs> Grunty? <coughs> Melanie? <laughs> night, night, sleepyheads. <coughs> Hello, Miffy. That's a lot of stamping. Are you cross? No. I'm 
keep him warm. It's very cold today. Ah, so that's why you've got your coat on. What about the helmet? Is that to keep you warm too? No, that's to keep me safe. I'm going go-karting with Granty. Sorry I'm late, Miffy. Let's go. Oh, oh, it's too hard to push it up the hill. Oh, look, the handle. We can just pull it up the hill. Great idea. We can take turns. You first. OK, but it's your turn next, Grunty. <laughs> My turn. <gasps> Hurry up, Grunty, it's freezing. <sighs> I'm going as fast as I can. But this go-kart is heavy. <laughs> and I think I know why. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> oh, look. It's the new boy from school. Can you remember his name? Come on, Froppy. Grunty, you shouldn't call people names. But his ear is all floppy. And I can't remember his proper name. Hello, I'm Miffy. <laughs> and this is Snuffy. Hello, Miffy. Hello, Snuffy. My name's Dan. Hello, Dan. And this is Grunty. Hello, Floppy. Grunty, Dan just told you his real name. It's all right. People call me that a lot. It's because of my ear. Why are you carrying your go-kart? Everyone knows it's easy if you pull them. I can't pull it. It doesn't have any wheels, see? <sniffs> Floppy's go-kart is broken. Granty, his name is Dan. OK, but he's wasting his time carrying a broken go-kart. Hmm, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. But have you noticed how grey the sky is? Oh, yes. What a funny colour. Why is it like that? I better go. See you later, Dan. Bye, Miffy. Uh. <laughs> <gasps> it's snowing. I love snow. <laughs> oh, of course. That's why the sky is so grey. That must be how Dan knew it was going to snow. Come on, Miffy, let's go! Wait, we can't leave Dan on his own if it's snowing. We should go back and help him. Oh, OK. <laughs> 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 this is fun! Look, there he is! <laughs> Hi, Dan. Miffy, Grunty, you came back. Of course we did. We thought you might need some help. <laughs> Hurry up. When we get back to the top, it's my turn to drive. <laughs> my turn at last. <laughs> There's too much snow. The wheels are stuck. Oh, now we can't play go-karts. All our fun is ruined. Well, maybe we could play something else. Look. Ooh. So your go-kart isn't broken after all. No, just because something looks a bit different doesn't mean it's broken. Which is why this isn't a go-kart. <laughs> it's a sled! That's not his name, I told you. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't think. Can I have a go, please, Dan? I'd love you to. In fact, I thought we could all have a go. Three, 